So we're going to move on to round two. And round two are famous uh, lines of commentary in football. Famous lines of commentary. And there's going to be two points available for this. Uh, let's see what other scores we have. Two points available for this uh, per question. So one is I want you to tell me the two teams involved, the two teams involved. And thank you, Roderick. My cousin saying my chest is looking hench. Thank you. I try. I try. Um, and uh, the second point for the score in that match. Thank you, Ronaldo. Uh, I have the top two as well. It's a really good top. It's not... Uh, is it a real? I don't know if it's a real Brazil top, but my brother got it for me. But I love the top. Um, so it is, you get one point for the match and one point for the score. So you get one point if you get the teams correct. So an example would be, imagine it was Aguero. Obviously, that would be Man City versus QPR. That's one point. And then the second one is getting the score correct. 3-2 to Man City against QPR. So it's two points. One is for both the teams and one is for the correct score. So we got that. We got that. Oh, Tom, my brother claims that he didn't give me this top. I stole it. I've borrowed it. It's in the house, isn't it? You know, brothers sharing is caring, all that and all that jazz. Okay, let's get ready for question number one. I'm going to check Instagram, see if anyone else has messaged me. Instagram, Instagram, requests. Okay. So question one, some people on the pitch, they think it's all over. The two teams and the score at the end of the match. Some people are on the pitch, they think it's all over. So that's question number one. Question number one. So, the teams and the score. Yes, I'm glad. <laughs> hopefully this one is hopefully better. Okay, question number two. He has Burachaga to his left and Valdano to his left. He doesn't need, he won't need any of them. Oh, you have to say that's magnificent. I'll try now again. He has Burchaga to his left and Valdano to his left. He doesn't need, he won't need any of them. Oh, you have to say that's magnificent. The two teams and the score. What was that? I wonder what that, I wonder what that could be. Okay. Time for question three. Question three now. It's up for grabs now. Right at the end. It's up for grabs now. Right at the end. So, the two teams and the score. That's question number three. Okay, question number four is a very short one, but it's quite iconic. Remember the name and the person's name after that. So question number four. Remember the name. Um, is this World Cup related? Uh, I will give you a clue. The first two were World Cup related. Question three and four were not World Cup related. So this could be anywhere. Shouldn't really, this could be anywhere. Number one and two were World Cup. Number three and four were not World Cup related. Okay, question five. The two teams and the score. Roma have risen from their ruins. Manolas, the Greek god in Rome. The unthinkable unfolds before our eyes. This was not meant to happen. This could not happen. This is happening. So the two teams, there's a big clue in the question, and the score. Okay. Roma have risen from their ruins. Manolas, the Greek god in Rome. The unthinkable unfolds before our eyes. This was not meant to happen. This could not happen. This is happening. So, there are your five. 
There are your five. Okay, time for a quick stretch. And then we're going to get ready for round number three. Okay, so I'm going to go through the answers now. So question number one. Some people are on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. It's four. It's England versus, versus, not versus, versus West Germany. So England four, West Germany two. Thank you for the acting. That was good skills. So you get one point for mentioning England and West Germany. And the second point for mentioning it's four, two to England. So that's two points. Question number two. He has Burchega to his left and Valdano to his left. He doesn't need them. He won't need any of them. Oh, you have to say that's magnificent. So just a few minutes before this happened, this happened. The hand of God. This was Maradona scoring that amazing goal winding through the England defence. Um, so this was Argentina 2, England 1. Argentina 2, England 1. There you go. Um, and Gary Lineker scored later on in the 81st minute, but it was too late. Sadly, we lost. So Argentina 2, England 1. Oh, yeah, I think I won't allow Germany. It's West Germany. If you put Germany down, Germany was after the unification in 89. Going to be harsh. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, question three. It's up for grabs now. Thomas right at the end. That was Michael Thomas in 1989. Liverpool were on the verge of winning the title on goal difference, but Arsenal scored. A goal in the last minute and Liverpool lost 2 0 at home. So it's Liverpool 0, Arsenal 2. That's question number three. Liverpool 0, Arsenal 2. That's question three. Question number four. Remember the name Wayne Rooney. So Wayne Rooney is a precocious 16 year old. Just a few days shy of his 17th birthday, came on against Arsenal. Arsenal were on an unbeaten 30-game run. And when he took the ball, controlled it, and arrowed it into the top left-hand corner. And then Seaman just, like, couldn't do anything. So it was Everton 2, Arsenal 1. Everton 2. And again, what a prodigy he was. Rooney did some of his best uh, footballing achievements when he was 17, 18, 19, 20. You know, he had a great career. England's top scorer. But you always feel like he had more to give. Question five, Roma have risen from their ruins. That's the clue. Manolos, the Greek god in ruin uh, in Rome. The unthinkable unfolds before our eyes. This was not meant to happen. This could not happen. This is happening. So Barcelona had won the first leg 4-1 against Roma. And Roma somehow came back in 2018 to win 3-0. So it's Roma 3, Barcelona 0. There you go. That's question number, uh, question number five. So you should have up to 10 marks there. Up to 10 marks. So let me know what your scores are. 